Hello dear student, this is the 28th video lecture of chapter 2 class 10 acid base and salt. In this video lecture, we are going to learn section 2.4.2 pH of salt. To watch all video lectures of chapter 2 acid base and salt, go to the channel and view the full playlist of acid base and salt as you can see here. Playlist of chapter 12 electricity and non-metal is also available on the channel. To watch all these video lectures, the link is given in the i button. Now let's get back to the topic pH of salt under more about salt. So in previous video lecture, we understood about how we can differentiate acid and base by understanding its pH. Same as pH of salt also exists. So as from pH we can identify whether the acid is strong or weak or base is strong or weak. So does salt also comes under strong salt and weak salt? So to understand this pH of salt we will take help of activity 2.12. Step 1. Collect the following salt samples that is sodium chloride, potassium nitrate, aluminum chloride zinc sulfate, copper sulfate, sodium acetate, sodium carbonate and sodium hydrogen carbonate. So the very basic thing required is that you should know the chemical formula of all the given compound or given salt samples to understand its composition which we will discuss. Now step 2. Check their solubility in water note you have to use distilled water so you have to dissolve this salt in water and you have to check the solubility of the salt in water that which salt is soluble and which salt is not soluble now step 3 check the action of the salt on litmus and find ph using ph paper now as we learned in previous video lectures that how to do litmus test now after dissolving the salt in water you have to do a pH test of each sample. So now let's find out its answer. Here I had tabulated all the salts and also given result of its pH and its acid and base use. As a basic thing you know that salt is produced in neutralization reaction of acid and base. So here we will find out first that what are the acid and a base used for the given salts and then its pH. So if we talk about sodium chloride which is very common example of neutralization reaction. So its pH is 7 it means that it is neutral and acid use is hydrochloric acid and base uses sodium hydroxide. This is a very basic example. Now let us talk about potassium nitrate. Its chemical formula is KNO3 and its pH measured is 7 and acid use for this salt is nitric acid that is HNO3 and base used is potassium hydroxide that is KOH. Now let us talk about aluminum chloride whose chemical formula is AlCl3 and the acid used are hydrochloric acid and base used is aluminum hydroxide and its pH measured is 7. Now let us talk about zinc sulphate whose chemical formula is ZnSO4. Its pH is 7 and acid used is sulfuric acid that is H2SO4 and zinc hydroxide ZnOH whole twice. Now, let us move to the another salt that is copper sulphate whose chemical formula is CuSO4 and the acid used is sulfuric acid that is H2SO4 and copper hydroxide that is CuOH whole twice and its pH measured is less than 7 it means that the salt is acidic. Now let us move to another salt that is sodium acetate whose chemical formula is NaOAC and the acid used is acetic acid that is CH3COOH and sodium hydroxide and its pH is more than 7 it means that this salt is basic. Now next salt that is sodium carbonate that is Na2CO3 and 
एसिड यूज इज कार्बोनिक एसिड एंड सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड फॉर्मूला ऑफ कार्बोनिक एसिड इज एच टू सी ओ थ्री एंड इट्स पी एच इज मोर देन सेवन इट मीन्स दैट दिस सॉल्ट इज ऑल्सो बेजिक इन नेचर नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट लास्ट सॉल्ट दैट इज एन ए एच सी ओ थ्री दैट इज सोडियम बाई कार्बोनेट फॉर दैट एसिड यूज आर कार्बोनिक एसिड and base uses sodium hydroxide and its ph is more than 7 it means that this is also basic you can take snapshot of this table which is very important because here i had given chemical formula of all acid base and salts now the basic thing that you understand is that ph of salt can exist as 7 more than 7 or less than 7 it means that neutral acidic or basic now let us discuss some of important points for mcq that salt of strong acid and strong base are neutral with the ph of value 7 so as you can see here hydrochloric acid is a strong acid and sodium hydroxide is a strong base and its salt which is sodium chloride which is neutral salt and its ph is 7 strong acid plus strong base gives of salt of neutral nature now on other hand salt of strong acid and weak base are acidic with the ph value of less than 7 as we can see here sulfuric acid is a strong acid and copper hydroxide is a weak base so the salt which we got is copper sulfate whose ph is less than 7 and its nature is acidic strong acid gives of salt whose nature is acidic now if we take strong base and weak acid so the salt obtained is basic in nature whose value will be more than 7 so its example you can take it as acetic acid is a weak acid and sodium hydroxide is a strong base so the salt which is obtained is sodium acetate whose ph is more than 7 it means that it is basic so weak acid plus strong base gives of salt whose nature is basic so still you have any doubt in this topic then you can ask us in a comment box or you can also dm us on our instagram page and its id is shown on your screen that's all for today's video lecture thank you notes are uploaded on the bloggers page of time to cram so visit the bloggers page to download the notes and the link of the bloggers is given in the description box So check the description box get the link and download the notes. And if you find this video helpful and informative then like it and do share it with your friends and classmates. And yet you had not subscribed to our channel time to cram then subscribe it. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get latest notification and update when new video is uploaded that's all for today's video lecture thank you